Hornets. Here we go, guys. 2008. This is a caravan, guys. This car was brought in. They say they see smoke under the hood. All right, let's start this thing up. Let me pop the hood. We're going to go see what they talking about. It says smoke right around the starter area. So they think they need a starter. Starter almost starts the car and it's done. All right. Oh, look at that, guys. Y'all see that steam? I don't know if the sun letting y'all see that, but... uh. Oh, I'm seeing smoke from the real guys, and I'm smelling oil burning, guys. So this thing got some kind of... Y'all see that? Yeah, something. Let me see if I can take y'all in the rear. See it? Oh, I can smell it, guys. That's that's oil. Okay, something's back there is on fire, maybe. Let me go up and get this thing in the shop and see what I can find, guys. Y'all stay right, tuned. guys. I'm now in the shop. Like I said earlier, uh, that smoke is getting worse. All right? Uh, four liter. Now, I smell oil, guys. I smell oil burning. Okay? When you get that, you can likely suspect oil on the exhaust. All right? The exhaust on this system, the main portion of the exhaust is in the rear. Only way to view that, guys, uh, we have to let this van up in the air. All right, see the fan just kicked on, so all the smoke that was right here is uh is gone. It's leaving because the fan is blowing. But when that fan is not blowing, all that buildup is coming from the rear. So let's do this, guys. Let's let this thing up in the air and take a look under the bottom. All right, y'all ready? Let's get it. All righty, guys. Let's let this thing up. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now I still left it running, guys, because. I'm not sure where that smoke coming from, although it smell like uh, oil, guys. It smell like oil hitting the exhaust. Y'all recognize this, guys? This is a coolant is running through this, which makes this a, a, a cooler, oil cooler. Yeah, and it's attached to the oil pump. All right, I'm getting off topic a bit. But, guys, I have to explain to y'all how this can affect heater on a different video. We'll talk about that later. For now, let's focus on this smoke and this uh, steam. All right, uh-oh. Oh, you know what that means, guys? That means an oil leak of some sort. Let's look. Uh oh. There we go, guys. Y'all see that? Y'all see that smoke? That steam? Guys, take a look. I'm going to try to zoom in right there. You see that drip coming down right there? Now, what's right up under those oil leaks coming from the valve cover? Which appears to be coming from the valve cover. What's right underneath that, guys, is called a hot exhaust. All right, looks like a cat cat converter and a well exhaust system. So if you get oil dripping on the exhaust system, you will produce smoke or steam of such. Let me take the camera up and give y'all a good view. Yeah, so that's my problem, guys. The complaint said no it's, uh, smoke coming from the starter. No, the starter is in the front. That's the starter right there. I'm hoping that nobody replaced the starter just because they thought it was smoking. Well, at any rate, I'm going to write up. We're going to repair these oil leaks. This car got over 100,000 miles, guys. And as you can see, this is a 4 liter. Y'all know what the 4 liters equipped with as far as timing? Equipped with a timing belt. And timing belt is typically recommended right at 100,000 miles. So I'm going to recommend a timing belt, water pump as well. Transmission, that does not look like a factory seal, which meaning this pan has once been off. Which meaning someone has likely the trans service, which is a good thing. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's the same oil or what, but guys, that is my problem. Alright, that smoke or steam where you that she's complaining about coming from upper all right the very top when you're dealing with leaks guys you want to go to the highest point guys in this case the highest point is the valve cover now mind you what i tell you guys or what we speak about anytime you're doing any kind of oil leaks always 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 uh replace the pcv valve as well because that pcv valve think about what it stands for positive crankcase ventilation it's trying to ventilate this is the crankcase. This is the oil pan. All right. If there's any kind of vapors floating around in there, you don't want that. That could, in essence, cause oil leaks. Okay. If pressure build up too excessively, uh, yeah, that's can force that oil 
to try to escape at the easiest path. But yeah, it's, it's quite obviously that that oil valve cover is leaking. All right, let me let it back down, and we're gonna go over a few more things. And uh, y'all know I can't leave these videos open, so I'm gonna I'm gonna write the estimate up and uh, see what happens. And I'll close this video, and if they buy it, we'll open it back up and discuss or talk about what we're doing for now. Somebody just been in here, guys. This look like a new axis. This look like new suspension parts. So it's not that they caused that. They just I don't know, guys. When you get a hundred thousand miles, just problems just arise. It's one of those things, all right? So let me let this back down. We're going to talk some more and we're going to wrap this up. Hey guys, I got the car back down. Like I was saying earlier, it's a 4 liter V6 engine, guys. Same as the 3.5. So, ooh, you can smell it bad, guys. It's coming from back here. Yeah, all that smoke is actually coming from the rear. So, but you never do just one. On a V engine, ooh, look, you can see it real good. You never do just one valve cover, guys. So we're going to do the valve covers in pairs. And like I say, because it's over 100,000 miles, I will recommend timing belt, water pump, and the pulleys. All right? That's very crucial. We're going to go in with the proper oil recommendations. And uh, we'll see what happens from there, guys. So we need y'all to stay tuned. That's all I have for this video. We're going to get this thing fixed and back up and running. All right? Thanks for watching.